Well, good afternoon and welcome to the south of Johannesburg. We're in Nazrik where this afternoon at FNB Stadium. It is Kaiser Chiefs taking on Maritzburg United in the DSTV Premiership tie. And what an enthralling fixture awaits us here because Kaiser Chiefs will meet the coach that took them to the brink of ending a five-year trophy drought last season. As the Amokosi welcome Ernst Biddendorf's Maritzburg United for this DSTV Premiership fixture. And what a jostling inside that six-yard area. Jethrin Barr's goal mouth is absolutely cluttered and clouded. And to see a bodies in front of him, unable to quite get there. And it is uh, referee Jim Gluli who's spotted a foul inside the area. Gazana jogs back to his position. That's Kutumela, scored a brace against Bloemfontein Celtic that saw Maritzburg United to their first victory. And indeed scored the first goal of the season against uh, Kaiser Chiefs in the MTN8 quarter-final tie, flag up for offside. Was he offside? Yes. Ooh, I'm not so sure. Is he? <laughs> very, very tight call. He looks offside. Eugene Gluli is into his third year on the FIFA panel. Ball in here, that is very dangerous. And certainly Clayton Daniels needed a touch on that. Because lurking behind him was the dangerous Zambian Kambole. That's experience coming through there because it was as tricky as it was because the awkward bounce had to get it right when he cleared that ball played in Daniels. Delivery in and that's a decent looking corner. It looked crisp, it looked inviting. And ultimately has gone uh, looping over the top out for the goal kick it is. Played onto the far side. There's all these possibilities where you have a Gezana that sticks in there. There's Javulo Blom. Great chance here, potentially Kabole. Can't get on the end of it. As uh, Nazir Ali lifted that ball away from him. Came very quickly forward from Kaiser Chiefs. But lined up for Kambole. How about the recovery and reading and sensing the danger from Nazir Ali? There's a smile finding Morgan. To send it in here, and it's uh, opportunity for Pittsburgh United. Meza not able to get on the end of it, and it's a ball that's fed in. Is it Museveni who's got the touch? He's claiming it. And Kaiser Chiefs trail as Ernst Middendorf's Maritzburg United are in front. A ball that was laid in from the far side. Daniel Lakpe always challenging for goalkeepers when they need to try to mark either a runner or the trajectory of the ball. Either way, it is Judas Musiameri who is taking the celebration from Morgan's ball in. And Kaiser Chiefs find themselves trailing by a goal at home. Chance here as the ball is headed. Oh, I thought initially going to be goal bound. Just going back to that Musiameri goal there, there's no doubt he touches the ball, but I, there's, a, there's a part of me that thinks he's not got the final touch on it. I'm not taking the goal away from him at all. Just interested in the details of it. Uh, that is going to be high. It was struck firmly by Nurkovic, but nowhere near being on target. I'm going to put you on the spot here. Do you remember a rugby match played here? The South African New Zealand match. Yeah. That would have been perfect. For you. Yes, it would have been. Cherke having snatched the ball away again, providing a little impetus moving forward. Just combine a little one two with Akuma. Ball flicked out here. Kabole into that danger area. A little chip that's not too far away. Just loops over the crossbar. And 15 minutes to play. Jethrin Barr has gone down here. He's holding on to his left rib cage. Just the attempt again by Martin. Throw in here over the top for Morgan to find Musiameri who finds a second. Goal number 15 for Maritzburg United. Goal number five against Kaiser Chiefs. He's got a brace yet again against Kaiser Chiefs. And surely he's wrapped up the result here. There may be 11 minutes left in this game, but the celebrations are undeniably delight. Maritzburg lead against the side that has beaten them all too often. And for that, they're also making a change, Maritzburg. They're closing shop. Maritzburg desperate for a first clean sheet since the bio bubble. And the last time they kept a clean sheet was against Gavin Hunt's Pit Vestfits. Can they make it happen here? Uh, it's a fine save from Jethro Barr to deny Zuma. 
corner for Chiefs. There is still time for Kaiser Chiefs to potentially snatch something. It is successive wins for this Maritzburg United side. It's another disappointing failure to win from Gavin Hunt's Kaiser Chiefs. From Maritzburg United, the players who've made it happen tonight. They've moved from 16th position up to 12th in the DSTV Premiership standings. They claim their second win of the season. It is in succession. And maybe, just maybe, there is more than just a glimmer of a turnaround from Ernst Biddendorf, who's in charge. A Maritzburg United side that found themselves with only a meager two points after uh, eight games. I've now got eight from ten. Ernst Middendorp joins me now. Coach, I appreciate your time. Thoughts, please. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Good, we, we, we are aware about it. It's, uh, we had a complete week to prepare it. And, you know, this is a little bit of a handicap of a, of a team uh, traveling to Angola, uh, not being uh, really um, recovered. I, I could see it already in the beginning and uh, we have to be very, very honest. But this is part of, of the business. If you want to be on the international side and the local side, um, it came to our advantage. The freshness I could see on the other side was not there, uh, just to mention this as a first point. Secondly, of course, um, we had to adjust uh, in halftime and uh, had some problems uh, with Kama uh, out of his position, there's no doubt about it, but um, I think uh, more and more we felt more comfortable. And good, we have the players who can make uh, out of three, four chances two goals, uh, as we have seen. I don't know how Judah scored this goal, it was fantastic. It's outstanding. Standing, but this is his quality. Mm. Compliment mm. to the entire team. Uh, it was absolutely a, a fantastic fighting spirit what we have seen and uh, this is requested if you are in a, in a position. We came as uh, position 16 into this game and good, we have to fight each and everything to sort it out and in the end of the season our game is goal is very clear to stay in the league. Mm. Coach, the way you control it, particularly after you take the lead, I could even hear you giving that instruction, you know, to, to stay in control and keep your discipline. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, good. This is a little small, I understand. We had one situation just where, where Mesa and uh, Judas all of a sudden started to press high mm -hmm. in an opponent uh, five-meter box. <laughs> Sorry, you have a 1-0 leading. You don't do this. Uh, this is tactically go into zone two, uh, connect to your other teammates, and uh, good. Uh, that was just one or two moments, but uh, this is something what we have to learn. The change at halftime with these uh, class. Yeah. Uh, Dalen is a fantastic player, there's no doubt about it, but tactically I know Modis uh, with his speed, with his pace uh, coming into it and we got this uh, free kick uh, out of his uh, uh, pace uh, with the ball and uh, I think then uh, he is very, very powerful, very skillful in terms of finishing, in terms of really taking the, the shot out of mm -hmm. a distance and um, mm -hmm. good, I think it worked well. Thank you so much, Coach. Well okay. done. Thank you very much. Uh, Gavin Hunt walks in. He's just uh, had a handshake the moment with uh, Coach Ernst Middendorp. Gavin is right here. Coach, I appreciate your time. Your thoughts, please. Yeah, look, disappointed, uh, the result. Um, you know, I didn't think it was, you know, um, I didn't think they had many chances, you know. I think they had two chances and they scored. So, But that's, that's football for you. That's what's happening with us, you know. I thought we had a lot of the play. Um, but obviously, a little bit of lack of energy in, in the areas and obviously not... Really having too much, you know, we really had two centre midfield players available, you know, so we couldn't change much. Um, but it is what it is. Macek Blom, I mean, I want to really want to talk about Macek. It seems like a find had a very good first half. Yeah, good, but you know, they, they they gave a big effort on Tuesday, you know, and everything involved, and we couldn't change them because we don't, you know, we didn't have anything else. We don't have any, uh, so it's but there's no excuses, you know. I mean, everybody's got the same problems with COVID and things like that, and so we can't look at that as excuses. We've got to be tougher, bigger, stronger. Uh, and I thought, we, you know, with both both goals, you're a little bit weak, you know, but is it a really a 2 0 game? But it's 2 0. That's what it is. Do, do you want to say a situation where you defend those better, you know, well, just the no, two goals? Look, the, one, the second one's a throw in, you know, the ball's bouncing in our box, is controlled, and I mean, it should never be bouncing in your box, not at this level. And the second one's from a corner, it got cleared, and the ball's got, you know, played back in the box. So um, you've got to defend those situations better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the good thing then is you get to play again. You know that there's another game coming. Up. Yeah, we have got a lot of games. Obviously, we, you know, getting a little bit more, we're getting more and more depleted. So we got to be very careful. You know. Thank you so much, coach. Thank you.